So you are trying to launch an Unreal based game, the finals in this case, and immediately after launch, it crashes with an error. An Unreal process has crashed, UE Discovery. As I said, this error comes from the finals game, however the solution might work for other games based on Unreal Engine, for example Fortnite. So the game was running perfectly fine on this computer, until a new game update arrived a couple days back, and after that you cannot launch the game. Since the finals have been crashing from the days of early beta, and each major update, especially a new season, brings new crashes, and that is one of the reasons why, when you try to search for solutions how to fix this crash in the finals, you will come across advice which is not longer relevant. For example, you will be recommended to disable all Razer software, Razer Chroma for example. You don't have to disable it anymore, since Razer fixed their software and it doesn't crash Unreal Engine anymore. Other recommendations will be for more recent software, for example to uninstall NVIDIA app, which is a successor to NVIDIA experience. You can try doing that. Other recommendations will tell you to add minus DX11 or minus D3 D11 command to launch options in Steam, to force the game to use the previous DirectX 11 instead of the current DirectX 12, however, this used to work in the past, but now DX11 is not supported at all. Same goes for Minus Vulkan, which must switch the engine from DirectX to Vulkan, however, this particular command doesn't work for this particular game, which is the finals. Other solutions will be to uninstall Riva Tuner, which automatically installs together with MSI Afterburner, yet others will suggest to use Afterburner to limit the performance of the video card, basically don't clock it, or use the game settings to limit the in-game FPS to for example 100, thus limiting the load on the GPU. Others will suggest to reduce the multiplier of the processor using BIOS or XTU utility if you're on Intel, and also downclock, that means remove XMP profiles from RAM in BIOS. All of that will reduce the stress on your hardware, and if your hardware is unstable, all of that has high potential to fix the crashes if they are mid-game. So if the game launches just fine, you can play a little bit and then it crashes, all those things may help you. However, in this particular case, the game was running perfectly fine before the latest update, and after the latest update it doesn't run at all. So you launch the game, you see the initial loading screen, and after that the game crashes, you cannot even see the menu of the game. Well, probably the developers cannot develop anything, and they released another buggy update, as usual. The owner of this PC has already tried a few things. And again, I repeat, he never experienced crashes in this game until the latest update. So finally, in the attempts to fix the issue, he reset Windows. That means restore Windows to factory settings. This is one of the worst things you can do to your computer. And actually it should be illegal, since unlike your Android phone, for example, which you can reset to factory settings, and it will basically reset everything up to the latest firmware you have installed. For Windows, it is much more complicated, and if you reset Windows, you will have a Frankenstein of a PC. The correct way to reset Windows is not to use the reset function, but to boot Windows installation media from a thumb drive, completely wipe your drives, and cleanly install Windows. This is how you reinstall Windows. And another peculiarity, this particular machine is using Microsoft account to log into Windows. These are those online accounts that you need an email address for. This also should be illegal, but unfortunately Microsoft forces you to use such accounts. The problem is your profile is actually kept somewhere in the Microsoft cloud. You have zero control over what is in that profile, and even when you cleanly install Windows, but use the same online account to log into Windows that you were using before reinstalling Windows, 
That means you bring all the trash, all the problems, all the glitches, all the issues from your previous installation to the new installation, which defies the purpose of cleanly reinstalling Windows. So you should clean reinstall Windows from your thumb drive and use a local account, not a Microsoft account. So even though all other Windows updates are installed on the system, we will not update it to 24H2, and thankfully both Unreal Engine and most importantly Easy Anti-Cheat that is used to protect the game still allow previous builds of Windows. Anyway, after trying all this, there is only one thing left. Check the BIOS. In this particular case, the BIOS on this motherboard is from 2017. This is an old motherboard, which is not really actively supported by the manufacturer anymore. However, Gigabyte still released quite a few versions of BIOS for this particular motherboard, and the latest one is from November 2021. So I'm shooting this video in 2025. The latest BIOS is F14 from 2021. However, the currently installed BIOS is F5 from 2017. So the owner of this computer skipped a whole 10 versions of BIOS or roughly four years of BIOS upgrades. So all that was needed is to first load optimize defaults and then use a thumb drive with the new F14 BIOS to update the motherboard BIOS. And as soon as that was done, the game launched successfully and there is no crashes anymore. So apparently it's not the developers of the game to be blamed, it's you since you don't take care of your computer by updating the BIOS at least, and that's why it is crashing. Well, actually, many motherboards manufacturers explicitly say that if your computer is working perfectly, you shouldn't update the BIOS. And all this actually contradicts that and shows that you definitely should update your BIOS, since even though the computer is running perfectly fine, the games crash. So for this particular issue, with this particular game, and this particular machine, and this particular update, the particular fix was to update BIOS to the latest one. It may be not the most recent one, since it's now 2025 and the BIOS is from 2021, however, it's the latest BIOS that was released for this particular motherboard by the manufacturer. So if you're experiencing the same issue, check which version of the BIOS your motherboard is running, and also go to the manufacturer's website, maybe they have an update, and install it, and if you are already running the latest BIOS and you still have this issue, you might try going to BIOS and load optimized defaults. This is the usual name of this function. However, it may be called different, for example, load defaults or something like that. So load optimized defaults, save the BIOS settings, boot into Windows and try launching the game. Maybe it will fix your issue with this game. Oh, and if you were expecting that I will be actually showing you how to find the version of your BIOS, how to search internet for the latest BIOS for your particular motherboard, and how to install the BIOS, this is a wrong channel for you. I consider all of that basic computer literacy, so if you want to play, study how to use the computer, especially now when your game doesn't launch and you have all the time in the world, you don't waste your time on video games anymore, use this time to study the computer, or if you are not happy with fiddling with computers for computer games, and you just want to play, get yourself a console. I'm the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.